let's do factoring when a is greater than 1. So hopefully by now you're comfortable with using the magic x when a equals 1. So when you use the magic x, just as a review, that this, when you do this, this is when you have a equals to 1. So an example of that would be when you have x squared minus 11x plus 10. So the top is always... It's always a times c, right? So it's 1 times 10, which is 10. The b value is negative 11. So what you want to know is what multiplies to 10 that adds to negative 11. In this case, this is negative 1 and negative 10, right? Negative 1 times negative 10 is positive 10. Negative 1 plus negative 10 is negative 11. Then you would take these two numbers and you would write the factors. x minus 1, x minus 10. Okay. And so then you figured out that this is the factor of this trinomial. You could always check it again by multiplying through. So now let's look at when a is greater than 1. So we'll look at something like 7x squared minus um, 13x plus or minus 2. Okay, so we're going to take a look at when we're going to factor something like this. Just the plain x method is not enough, okay? So, let's remember how to multiply using the box method first. So that way when we go backwards, it'll make sense. So when we're multiplying using the box method, number one, let's do our box. Okay, here. Then we write our factors on the outside, so 2x and 4, and 3x and negative 5. Then when we multiply, this becomes 3x times 2x is 6x squared, 4 times 3 is 12x, negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x, negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Then we simplify, we know that those are our like terms, so we have 6x squared, then we have 10 minus Negative 10 plus 12 is positive 2x and negative 20. Now, the biggest thing that I want you to recognize or notice from here is where are these trinomials, where are each of these pieces? So notice that the 6x squared is at this top left corner. Then the negative 20 is at the bottom right corner. Okay, then the numbers that add to 2x, those are the numbers that are here on the side. Okay, so what we're going to be doing when we, do, when we do the reverse box is that we're going to be plugging in these numbers into the box and trying to figure out what the factors are on the outside. So let's try this out. <clears throat> we have 7x squared plus 15x plus 2. So when we're doing this, Number one, the values that go on the top is always a times c. So when we're looking at a standard form of a quadratic, so a is the number in front of the x squared, c is the number in the back. So we're looking at a times c, that is what goes on top. So this is 7 times 2 or 14, right? 7 times 2 is 14. Then at the bottom b is our, the bottom is our b value, which is this value here, the 15. So you can think about that as the basement. So the number that goes in the basement is 15. So notice we have the signs here. What multiplies to 14 but adds to 15? So the factors of 14 are 1 times 14, or 2 times 7. So which of these will add to 15? Well, 2 plus 7 is definitely not 15, but 1 plus 14 is. So we'll put 1 and 14 here. So 1, 1 plus 14, right? 1, I'm sorry, 1 times 14 is 14, and then 1 plus 14 is 15, so that is correct. Now normally, <clears throat> when we did the x the magic x is that you could just write x plus 1 and x plus 14 and you were done. Now, if you double check your answer, right? So one way to do this is double check. You could multiply it back through and see if you get your answer back. Notice that x times x, that is x squared. Is that 7x squared? No, it isn't. 
So, therefore, when you notice, if you do this immediately and you double check and you don't get your first term, then you know that this isn't going to work, okay? So, that doesn't work. And we know that A is greater than 1, right? So, we're looking at the reverse box <clears throat> here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this 7x squared into the top, right? That's what we did earlier with our multiplication, right? That number goes here. Then the bottom corner is 2, <clears throat> okay? Now, the two factors on the side, so let me circle that. Those are important. That goes into the other two boxes. It doesn't matter which one it goes in um, because they're just adding together. So it doesn't matter if you put your 1x here or your 1x at the top and then your 14x here, right? So it doesn't matter where they go. Now, what we're trying to do is figure out what are the factors. So what are the numbers that are go on the going to go on the outside? <clears throat> so one way that I look at it is you have 7x squared here. And so well, let's think about what multiplies to make 7x squared. So the way I think about that is that it's 7x times x, right? 7x times x is definitely 7x squared. Now you have to think about the placement of these, 7x squared. 7x can either go on the top here or on the side here, right? So we have to choose which one is best. So when you're choosing where it goes, you really have to look at what are the factors to the right of it or, or to the bottom of it. So if I put 7x squared or 7x here and x here. Now, this is going to work because 7x you can get the 14x here, right? If I put the 7x on the top, 7, there's nothing that multiplies to 7 that makes 1, and we definitely do not want a fraction. So 7x has to go on the left because it also goes into 14x. Or another way to think about that is that 7x, you look at the greatest common factor of these two terms. What divides into both 7x squared and 14x? Well, that's 7x. Okay, so that's another way to think about that. I personally just like looking at the 7x squared and seeing what multiplies to make that and then putting that in the right position. All right, so now that we have this filled out 7x times x, we have what multiplies 7x times what will get us 14x. So 7x times 2 will get us 14x. Then let's look at the last one. x times what equals 1x? So x times 1. And then the very last thing you do is you check that last box. 1 times 2, does that equal 2? Yes, it does. So therefore, it is factored correctly. So these are the factors of 7x squared plus 2. Seven, so it's 7x plus 1, these numbers on the side, and x plus 2. Um, you could multiply it back through, but you actually have it already in the reverse box. Uh, but this is 7x squared plus 14x plus x plus 2. And that is definitely 7x squared plus 15x plus 2, which is our original. Okay, so I was just multiplying it to check it through. So let me do one more example on the right. Let's factor 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. So nothing is filled out, so let's do that. We're going to do the uh, reverse box, or a nice way to think call this is like the x box method because you have an x, right? Here's an x, and then you have a box. So that's why it's called x box method as well. So let's multiply or factor 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. So let's start with the x. And the top is always a times c. So the 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, right? 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then what adds to the basement? Negative 5. So what multiplies to negative 6 that adds to negative 5? Well, our factors are either 6 times 1 or 3 times 2. So notice that this is negative, which means that the signs have to be opposite. So it's going to subtract to get the negative 5. So the only one that does that is 6 times 1. 6 times 1, and because this is negative, therefore our 6 has to be negative. Okay, so the largest number has to be negative. So if we check it out, 6 times, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, 
and negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, so that is correct. So let's go ahead and do our reverse, our box method here, our reverse box. So in the top left corner, we fill out the 3x squared, the first number, and the negative 2 we fill out down at this bottom corner. And then our factors here, they just go in the box. So negative 6x and 1x. So the first thing to do is start factoring that 3x squared. 3x squared. So what multiplies to get 3x squared to make 3x squared? That is 3x times 1. So where should I put the 3x? On the top, top, or on the side? Now in this case, the top, right? Because 3x goes into 6x. 3x doesn't go into 1. Right, so 3x uh, goes into this negative 6x here, then over here is our x. So 3x times x is 3x squared. Then we look at filling out the rest of our box. x times what is 1x? Well, that's just a 1. x times 1 is 1x. Then 3x times what is negative 6x? Well, 3x times negative 2. So then the last box we check, negative 2 times 1, is that negative 2? Yes, that is correct. So these are the factors, 3x plus 1 and x minus 2. Okay, so what I want you to do is go ahead and try these two problems right here, and I'll come back and give you the answers. All right, so if you tried this out, you should have gotten the factors of 3x plus 1 and x plus 3 for number 3, right? So at the top, you have your a times c, which is 3 times 3 is 9, and what adds to 10, that is 1 times 9, right? You fill out the box. I already partially filled it out for you to help you out. Then you just put in these factors, 1x and 9x here. Then you factor the 3x squared. So what multiplies to get 3x squared? That is 3x and x. 3x has to go on the left because 3x also goes into 9x. Then you multiply to find what goes in the last box. So 3x times 3 will get you 9x. And then x times 1 will get you 1x. Then you check that last box. 1 times 3 is 3. And then these are your factors. The last one, you should have gotten 2x minus 3 and x minus 1. So I hope this helps you out. You'll definitely need some practice on this to get stronger. And so you'll get some practice in class. Thank you for watching.